nation. One of the most incredible runs in the United States Senate we have ever seen here in the state. A man who demonstrated enormous compassion and courage in the wake of the shooting in El Paso. A man with unlimited future. A man who will be changing this nation for the better for many years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, Beto O'Rourke. And his wife, Amy. Come on, Beto and Amy. Amy, watch your step here. God love you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dallas, Tarrant County, Denton, Collin, anybody from the Rio Grande Valley, Far West Texas and El Paso, Lubbock Amarillo and the Panhandle, Longview Texarkana and East Texas, on behalf of every one of the 254 counties of this great state. We welcome Dr. Jill Biden and Vice President Joe Biden, el próximo presidente de los Estados Unidos, aquí con nosotros este momento. Ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow, March 3rd, 2020, I will be casting my ballot for Joe Biden. And let me tell you why. Thank you. Thank you. We need somebody who can beat Donald Trump. The man in the White House today poses an existential threat to this country to our democracy, to free and fair elections. And we need somebody who can beat him. And in Joe Biden, we have that man. We have someone who in fact is the antithesis of Donald Trump. Joe Biden is decent, he's kind, he's caring, he's empathetic. I don't know if you saw this last week. Um, the vice president was at a town hall in South Carolina. And Dr. Reverend Anthony Thompson came up to the microphone and talked about losing his wife at Mother Emanuel AME in South Carolina in 2015. And Joe Biden listened to him, in fact, with his eyes closed so that he could concentrate on every single word that that man said. And then he spoke back to him and to all of us from his heart, filled with compassion and love and the power to heal. He wanted to heal that man. He wanted to heal, heal Charleston, South Carolina. But as someone who lives in El Paso, Texas, which saw another white nationalist rampage where 22 people were killed solely based on their ethnicity, on the color of their skin, on their country of national origin, I felt Joe Biden healing us. At a time that this country is so polarized, so deeply divided, we need somebody who can bring us together and heal us. We need somebody who can reestablish the moral authority of the United States. We need somebody who will fight for democracy here and abroad because democracy is under attack here and abroad. We need Joe Biden. Vice President, I have traveled to each one of the 254 counties of Texas. I know this state. And I've got to tell you, the fact that you take the time to listen to us, 
to be here, to understand our concerns as well as our aspirations means the world to us. This is a state that is dead last in the United States when it comes to the number of insured, which means that we have people dying of diabetes. The largest mental health care facility in the state is the county jail system in the state. Those with schizophrenia and bipolar disorder and clinical depression are getting arrested on purpose to get the care that they cannot find otherwise. We know that you are going to lead us to make sure that there is health care for each and every single one of us. Every child, every man, and every woman. Mr. Vice President, you also know that whether it was Sutherland Springs or Santa Fe High School or El Paso, Texas at that Walmart this last August or Midland, Odessa in the same year, we understand the devastating toll of gun violence in America and in this state. And we need someone who's going to make sure that whether it is a mass shooting in a Walmart or in our school or the shootings that far too often take those in our communities of color one or two at a time, who don't even make the headlines or the front page or the news, we don't even know their names, you're going to stand up for each and every one of us and end gun violence in America with universal background checks, extreme risk protection orders, and an end to the selling of weapons of war in our communities. Keep that stuff on the battlefield. Don't bring it into our homes. And Mr. Vice President, yes. this energy-rich state yes. that has fueled the growth of America also wants to be the state that with your leadership yes. leads the charge to confront climate change before yes. it is too late. We're counting on you. Yes. And for the last, in 2018, all of us, a lot of good people who are here on the stage, out there, throughout the state, ran the greatest grassroots campaign Texas had ever seen. We won more votes than any Democrat had in Texas history. Young voter turnout up 500% in early voting. And these were the gains. 12 New members of the State House, all Democrats replacing Republicans. Two new members of Congress, including the all-time great Colin Allred, right here in this community. 17 African American women elected to judicial positions in Harris County. Now is the time to finish the job Make sure that we win the nine seats that we lack to take control of the State House for the first time in 20 years. End the racist gerrymandering in Texas and move forward on the issues we care most about. You, Mr. Vice President, as the top of the ticket, can help us do that. So, I want to let you all know, I love you too, and we all love Joe. And I am going to treat Joe and Jill right. We're going to take them to a world-class meal tonight. There's a water burger less than half a mile from here. But first, make this one promise. Make this one promise. You. I'm getting water burger orders shouted from behind me, okay? You, your family your friends, your neighbors, your classmates, your colleagues, every single one of us is gonna get after it and vote tomorrow. Are you with me? Yeah. Are you with Joe? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, el próximo presidente de los Estados Unidos, Joe Biden. Let's do it for Joe. I wanna make something clear. I'm gonna guarantee you this will not last year's seat of this guy. You're gonna take care of the gun problem with me. You're gonna be the one who leads this effort. I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you. We need you badly. The state needs you. The country needs you. You're the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's bring everybody. Come on up here, guys. Let's get the whole team. Watch out, Ron. You don't fall off the stage here. Great to see you, man. Come on up. Better let me come on out here. 
Let me move this out of the way here. Watch out with the stick. Thank you all so much.